Hello, fellow Toastmasters and guests. And, um, I'm here to do my third speech. So, did you know that a good experience is all about good moments? Sonia Lubersky, renowned psychologist and author of The How of Happiness, explains that we understand happiness as an experience of joy, contentment, and powerful, positive well-being. We understand our experiences in the world as a chunk of time we went through that is stored in our memory, labeled, relived, and communicated to others. Today, the term user experience not only refers to real-world experiences, it also refers to digital and technological experiences of products and services. User experience design is an approach that places pleasurable and meaningful moments at the center of all design efforts. With this said, I would like to share with you tonight four key elements that help create a good user experience and 10 principles that ensure usability, good usability moments. When designing a website, it's important to step back and evaluate the big picture. The first key element you, you should focus on is who are your users. An effective user experience always starts with knowing who your users are. User interviews are the first step to understanding their thoughts, their goals, and their values. The, uh, the second key element to creating a good experience is, is understanding the user flow. This isn't just about creating pages and what goes on the pages, it's about putting the pages together in a certain flow that's understandable to the user. It's kind of like a roadmap of your website. And the third key element to a good experience is the aesthetics of a website. A website should have uh, a sense of what the industry is, but it also has the design freedom to choose your own color palettes, your fonts, and the layout, as long as it's done well. And the fourth key element to a good experience of a website is to uh, do user testing. Thoroughly test your website to ensure that the users respond positively to the experience. Ask a few people to participate in a user study. Track their movement through the site to understand the user flow and if it's working, if it's not working, and what you can fix before you launch your site. Now I'd like to share with you the 10 principles of user interface design that ensures good usability. Does your website keep things simple? Avoid information that's irrelevant. Too many elements on a page can conflict and compete with each other, so that's why you want to keep things simple. Are your users informed? Provide feedback when something changes. For instance, light up an icon or some text when a user completes a task so that they know that they are finished. Are, are your speakers, are you speaking that your user's language? <laughs> Use words and phrases that are simple that the audience understands. Try to stay away from computer jargon. And, uh, Make sure you, you explain everything clearly because your user doesn't necessarily understand your product or your service. Is the website consistent? Follow established <coughs> web conventions whenever possible. Do not try to, re to create something new that is a standard element that's used or interaction on a website. This could be confusing to a user. Do you avoid making visitors re uh, remember things. Make actions and options always available and visible to the visitor so they don't have to remember things. In other words, don't make your users think. <coughs> Do you provide control or freedom for your users? It's easy, it's easy to find things. If visitors make mistakes, be sure there's easy ways for them to go back and start over and continue in a different path. Do you help visitors avoid mistakes? A thoughtful design should prevent problems from occurring. 
by guiding them through success. Avoid complexity because those can lead to errors. <coughs> Do you help users recognize and recover from errors? If a visitor does make a mistake, try to use plain language versus computer jargon to help them understand what happened so that they can successfully complete whatever they're trying to do. Is your help helpful? Make help documents easy to find and read and search for. Focus on the most important things your users are trying to do. Does your website grow with your users? Your website should always be able to be easily accessed by new and existing users and novice users. Allow for customization so that their experience can be uh, what they expected. In conclusion, user experience design raises exciting but challenging opportunities for designers. Sonia Lebrowski explains that happiness is 50% genetic, 10% directed from our pursuit of happiness, and 40% determined by our habits, our behaviors, and our thought patterns. So, in conclusion, create a user experience that focuses on that 40%. In other words, create happy interactions by focusing on habit, behavior, and thought patterns. This practice can create joyful experiences when using an online product or service, motivating future action on your website. It is that emotional connection of happiness that will keep your users coming back over and over. Thank you.